Hello viewers, welcome back. So in last videos I spoke about the combustion process and about fuel injection system. In this video I have to speak about the turbocharger, the most important component in the whole car in the car tuning business. And why is that? This is because with turbocharger we can get more power. So let's start explaining turbocharger from the start. On my left side you can see an animation which represents how this turbocharger and how cold air and hot air are fed through the engine that, that uh, this whole system can breathe. Okay, you can see that this orange, orange gases on the image represent the hot gases going out of the engine. And actually these hot gases, so exhaust gases, are running the turbine. So how much we press the accelerator pedal, that much will we spin the turbine. Yeah? So that's, that's the first thing. The turbocharger has two sides, it has the turbine side and the compressor side. Turbine side is the hot side which is run by exhaust gases and this is connected to the same shaft. When the turbine is spinning, the compressor side, the cold side is also spinning. And as you can see now in the image, these blue arrows represent the cold air from outside. So from outside, from the air filter, we are feeding in cold air. And compressor is spinning and uh, makes uh, higher pressure, how the turbine is spinning, it increases boost. So when we achieve higher pressure and we feed this increased boost inside of the combustion chamber back, so and that's how we achieve actually boost and, and, and the higher pressure inside of the combustion chamber as I spoke about in my first video. So we, we need uh, higher than atmospheric pressure to, in, to increase the, the amount of air we feed into the combustion chamber that we can burn more fuel. So this is all connected. So we need more air which we get from the compressor which is fed to the combustion chamber then we can burn more fuel and then we have more power. So this image really, uh, really good represents how this all goes. And uh, yeah, so you might think okay this could go wrong so exhaust gases are running the turbine but this can go indefinitely and something would explode of course yeah, something would explode and that's why we have as you can see on the image we have base gate actuator so this is uh, the actuator which opens the base gate so that when the turbine reaches some speed necessary speed to achieve some boost when, when, when this is this is all controlled by ecu when it reaches some boost uh, then ex excess of air is led through the exhaust pipe behind the car. So this is how it's, the boost is controlled. So we are, we are letting out more boost than we need out of the exhaust. And this is, we have this Westgate actuator which is controlled by N75 valve, which has own map, but I will explain it in my later videos. Okay, let's get a little bit now on the intake again. On the intake we, we have the air filter and after uh, air filter we have the mass air flow sensor. We need to know what is the weight of the air which is coming to the engine because the hot air and the cold air do not have the same weight. So this is all measured and the weight has its own uh, boost controlled by MUF. So uh, the, this is how also boost is controlled depending on the mass of air. Yeah, so this is the second thing. And of course, in the engine we have the boost maps. We have the boost for each speed or each gear. So this is like five or six uh, boost maps. And we have the boost limiter map, which is very important. So the boost limiter map is the map which allows us that we uh, have the maximum values after which we shut off the boost. Otherwise, something would explode. This is basically it. So this is. This animation uh, shows it very well how this works and so basically we are using exhaust gases to run the turbine. Turbine is, con uh, is connected with the compressor, compressor compresses air and feeds it back to the engine. And of course what I forgot to say as you can see on the image here is that uh, when, uh, when, the cold, when, when the compressor compresses air it, it becomes hotter and that's why we need to have an intercooler so when the compressed air is pushed back to the engine, first it goes through the intercooler and then to combustion chamber that we cool it a little bit so the combustion process is much better. So this is all I'm going to speak about the turbocharger and how it works. 
In next video we have to speak about the mass of air flowing because we need to know the weight of the air which is coming to the engine so that we can, can control the boost. Thank you for watching.